hunt rider condemned for slapping and kicking a horse. You know, I'm kind of wondering whatever the horse did to you, and in response, I'm honestly kind of wondering, uh, don't expect if the horse kicks you back, because if I remember correctly, nearly a thousand pounds of almost all muscle is hits kind of hard, especially if they're wearing metal boots or shoes. Basically, if a horse kicks you, something's breaking. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash I am a total POS, because seriously, me Meteors any day now would be absolutely fantastic. If you guys would like to be absolutely fantastic and show your support and see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, check out more videos in the playlist. Unfortunately, there is a whole lot. Let go. Fired Oklahoma police officers convicted of murder for using a taser on a man more than 50 times. Jurors in this location's Oklahoma on Friday convicted two fired police officers of second-degree murder for using a taser on a man dozens of times. I'm not an expert on tasing anybody nor getting tased myself, but I'm fairly certain you don't need to do it that many times. All it's supposed to do is keep the dude from running, maybe make him fall on the ground because all your muscles lock up, and then you're, while he's doing that, you're just supposed to cuff him. That's, that's, all, that's it. You're not supposed to end the dude's life. What the heck? Man decapitated mom after claiming the Holy Spirit said she was the devil. Redacted age 34, is now facing murder charges against his mother, other name redacted, according to arrest records from the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Redacted has been arrested more than 25 times for domestic violence, theft, assault, among other charges. A Portland man, our child, has ate a dog and a deer. Okay, what? A Portland man under investigation for child R botched his attempt to exonerate himself after providing police with his phone, which contained videos of the suspect essaying a dog and a dead or unconscious deer, authorities alleged. Yeah, I don't even really have anything to say. I was going to make a Florida man reference somewhere in here, but this is honestly just a what the heck. Because I've got a bunch of angry right-wing reactionaries saying being a pet is wrong and not natural. I'm simply asking they back up their claims. Thus far, not a single one can. Uh, why explaining that that is very wrong? I, I don't think this is a whole left-wing, right-wing kind of thing to explain why that's wrong. And I don't think it needs much of an explanation. Like, Jesus, dude, this is the type of stupid that couldn't even be fixed with a Thanos snap. For real, LMFAO. Like, if it. Everyone talks about doing this as, and Travis fans know what they are getting into. I don't know why every getting into a kitty when it actually happens. You know, when people go to a music concert, I'm pretty certain they don't go in hopes to get killed, and also, for the people that block the ambulance from getting in, you are one of the lowest of the low people. On top of the main dude himself completely ignoring and continuing his performance, even though people were saying, yeah, there's dead people over here, that's just absolutely wrong. Hey, you know what photo op would be great? Uh, let's go over this fence that's supposed to be keeping people off of the trees and go hug the trees. Yeah, that's a totally good photo op here. It's only a protected park. People not being able to read very blatant signs are the reason I really don't have much hope for this world. Sending love to men who are struggling mentally, suffer with those kinds of thoughts, are scared to speak up, are in therapy, are feeling alone, feel dismissed by society. Hashtag Men's Health Month. I can't tell if this is satire or not, and the fact that that alone has 276 likes is freaking concerning. Oh, but wait, there's more. No, I'm going to report this. Hashtag I don't give an S. Bring back manly men. This is true, actually. Hashtag I love pathetic men. See, it's stuff like this that makes me avoid a lot of trending tabs on social media. Because as somebody who's actually checked off uh, a few of those because anxiety, um, kind of sucks when uh, you get these kind of responses in response to that post. Because you think you're going to have other people that are backing you up and saying that it's going to be okay, but nope, you look in the comments. I'll tell you that, it bites. Uh, for example, breakup goes bad, somebody might tell you just get over it, like uh, depression has a switch. And if you're one of the people that would comment this kind of stuff on these type of posts, if for some reason you're watching my videos, rightfully get off my channel right now. Because if you think that somebody isn't allowed to experience human emotions because of a certain thing, then you're not human yourself. Now, for anybody needing any type of reassurance, or some kind of good feeling in your mind, um, those type of comments on this post do not come along at all in any way, shape, or form as common whatsoever. I searched up the hashtag myself on Twitter, and I combed through pretty much 
all that I could find and none of the posts whatsoever had those kind of responses in them. I haven't looked up the hashtag on Instagram myself, but I'm very much hoping that it has the same type of results. You know, where people actually are decent people and don't have give these type of comments. Oregon inmate 48 dies less than a month after starting a 12 year prison sentence. A 48 year old man sentenced to a dozen years in prison for S abusing a eight year old girl a decade ago has died after less than a month behind bars. If anybody knows anything about the prison totem pole, I am fairly certain the phrase what are you in for came up sometime before his death. Family finds dead grandfather being dissected at an oddities event. The man's body was found being autopsied live in a Marriott ballroom where people paid up to $500 to watch. A family who thought their grandfather's body would be donated to science learned that he ended up as a slideshow for an oddities event, dissected in front of a paying public audience in the middle of a hotel event room across the country. The body of Redacted, a 97-year-old World War II veteran, ended up in the ballroom of a Portland, Oregon Marriott Hotel where people paid up to $500 for tickets to see a live autopsy in person. Honestly, this just is horrible. I remember another post being something along the likes where it was uh, a, basically somebody's grandmother was used to test ballistics. This is completely unacceptable. If the blacks are going to vote for the racist, then maybe we shouldn't let them vote anymore. Sometimes you have to do what's good for them, even if they don't understand why. I'm sorry, but are you trying to say that racism is the problem solver for racism? You wanna know how stupid racism sounds? I'll give you a little analogy. Imagine being told you aren't allowed to wash your car because you have a red car, and uh, this is not a, there are no red cars allowed at this station. A Boise woman accused of stripping jewelry, clothing, and other possessions from the body of a security guard shot to death in a rampage at this mall told detectives that she had gone into survivor mode and believed she was entitled to take the items according to prosecutors. Young women don't need college, you need faith, a bible, and a good cookbook. Hey dude, how about you quit living in the 50s and 60s? The only thing that is still good today from the 50s and 60s are the nice cars that came out of those decades. I mean, I also would have liked it if houses could be afforded like they were in the 50s or 60s, but you know, that's not gonna happen. Warning, where, wait a minute, this is the same schmuck from the last post. Seriously, I mean, he doesn't have the sunglasses from his Duck Dynasty post, but he's got the full beard and everything. All he's missing is the overalls and the boat. Wearing yoga pants may lead to lesbianism. I'm fairly certain that's not how yoga pants work. I'm fairly certain if I saw this dude outside of the convention center, like for Otakon, Katsukon, or my local college campus, I'm fairly certain I would get a bag of popcorn, just watch and see what signs he come up with, because honestly, just, why? You say and everything's gonna send people to heck. And I'm honestly not surprised if he ever pulls out a sign that says holding hands in public will send you to heck. That one might actually, cause you know, lewd. Police in Ohio are warning parents that sewing needles were discovered inside of Halloween candy handed out over the weekend to trick-or-treaters. The horrifying discovery was made in two pieces of candy distributed in the town of this place, police said. It's weird that these actually does happen. I have no idea how people are able to like sneak stuff into candy cause they usually have factory sealed stuff. So, I mean, just in general, don't take a Ziploc bag full of M&Ms or something like that. Neighbors across the street who never water their lawn decided to go set their sprinklers out the second kids started coming out to trick or treat. I just hate it if someone were to egg or TP their house tonight. You know, somebody just had to get their entertainment out of this because a simple nobody is home or no trick or treating here sign would have worked perfectly fine. Though it might just be me, but you might want to practice your throws a little bit beforehand. Blind Ben verbally abused by an activist claiming using guide dogs is cruel. A blind disability activist has spoken out about how he and a blind friend were verbally abused by an animal rights activist who had become angered by the sight of their guide dogs. You mean to tell me that there are no blind people at PETA whatso frickin' ever? And let me guess, the animal rights activist had tried saying that the dog is being abused. No, the service dogs are usually treated very, very well. Charity founder left in tears after the theft of Lego bricks for sick children. Around 18,000 sets were stolen. You know, you would think like with prison totem poles and even prisoners having standards, you would think that thieves would have some kind of standards and maybe just stay out of stealing from charities. But nope, 
Here we are. When a guy has bigger boobs than you, how about when you see a dude actively trying to fix the problem, but you're still a judgmental H? Yeah, all of this on top of the fact that congratulations, you're coming off as a creep because you're taking pictures of people, especially people at the gym without their consent. I'm fairly certain this dude would not like it if he saw this picture of him with the circle and the caption and everything. Because honestly, if I'm ever at the gym and I see some person that's big, I keep on remembering that, hey, everybody starts somewhere. And I honestly kind of hope you got kicked out of the gym for this because, like, this is both weird and dehumanizing. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the most internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, check out more videos, that'd be darn swell. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,